The novel coronavirus pandemic has caught everyone's attention by now. However, people with underlying conditions such as heart disease have extra reasons to be alert because they seem to be at a higher risk of developing serious illness from COVID-19. Timesnownews.com wants every individual to understand the disease and stay safe. Dr. Prabhakaran, could you please explain how the COVID-19 can affect people with heart disease and what should they do to avoid catching COVID-19? Thank you, Salome. While uh, yeah, patients with uh, hypertension, diabetes uh, and other heart diseases do not have a higher risk of acquiring the infection, in fact, it is the same as the general population uh, when exposed, but when they acquire the disease, they do have higher chances of developing complications or dying from uh, the disease. In fact, it's at least two to three times higher than uh, the general population. So they need to be extra careful about uh, uh, their own health. We have also heard that certain conditions like high blood pressure or blood pressure medications could cause more severe coronavirus infection. In that case, should patients with hypertension stop taking their blood pressure tablets? There is no clear evidence that these antihypertensive drugs such as ACE inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers increase the risk. It is only a theoretical possibility so far. So I would advise uh, people who have been taking these drugs regularly for a very long time uh, should not stop them suddenly. And uh, they can take a call with their doctors once they develop an infection. It could be stopped temporarily at that time, but not before that. On Thursday, it was reported that the World Health Organization has warned against the use of ibuprofen for COVID-19 symptoms. Later, the FDA has said that the use of ibuprofen for coronavirus infection symptoms may be safe. What is the current stance when it comes to the anti-inflammatory drugs used in India? With regard to ibuprofen and other NSID used for fever in India, uh, we have special recommendation, particularly in view of the fact that dengue fever is quite common. So therefore, we generally avoid giving ibuprofen or other NSIDs, which can result in complications, particularly hemorrhagic complications. Uh, therefore, we should follow the same advice. Paracetamol is a good drug uh, for fever, and that's the drug that uh, people should uh, use in case of uh, any fever. The second issue is people with hypertension, diabetes, or uh, uh, cardiovascular diseases, particularly diabetes and cardiovascular diseases, should not be using ibuprofen or other NSAIDs because they can result in cardiac complications or in renal failure. Uh, kidney failure, and therefore they should avoid using these uh, drugs. And in either case, it it, it, it will be uh, paracetamol for fever. Therefore, I think this question is kind of redundant for Indians. Thank you very much, Dr. Prakaran, for speaking yeah. to timesnownews.com. Okay, thank you very much.